Money, money, money. Must be funny. It's my payday haul. Good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma. Subscribe for weekly hauls, weekly vlogs. I hope you're okay. So recently I went to Lanzarote and I will link the weekend vlog of that below. And before I went, I bought some tat. And whilst I was there, I bought some tat because it was payday whilst I was on a sunny aisle. So let's see the stuff I got before I went that I didn't really need, but I felt an urge to own. So I popped to John Lewis and I went to the makeup counters as I had a voucher, um, which excited me greatly. The first thing I bought was an Urban Decay, whoops, Afterglow highlighter. It's kind of a very, there we go. It's a very golden, it's quite pigmented though. So when you put it on, it's supposed to last for eight hours. I don't know if it lasts for eight When you put it on, you've got to be careful because I went out looking insane to work yesterday. Like a shimmery golden shell. The second thing I bought was from the um, Benefit Counter and it was just rebuying Professional because I really love it. It's a really good product. It's really good for my... I put it on my nose because I got like quite a deep pause on my nose. I also put a bit on there. That's really good. I'd always keep buying that. And then I popped Soap and Glory, which obviously isn't in John Lewis, but this is from Boots. And I got Love at First Blush. I think it was in a three for two. And I bought it with some other things as well. So if you have a look at that, it's um, it's kind of like a blushery bronzer. And it's it's quite shimmery as well. But it's really nice for day-to-day -day wear. I don't think it lasts eight hours like the other one, though. What would I do without having shimmer on for eight hours? People would think I was a dried-up crab. Then I got to the airport. I'm just gonna have a look. I said to my other half as he was trying to control two insane children. I'm just gonna have a look. I'm not gonna get anything. And then I found my way to the MAC counter and I bought a bronzer. It says it's a studio sculpt defining. So I think it's supposed to be a bit of a contouring thing. I ain't contouring. I look mad when I contour. I look like I've just wiped poo on my cheeks. So I've just gone for a bit of a bronzer so I can just try and make myself look a little bit brown. As you can see, it's working. I look like an, I look like a golden Adonis, not just a pasty white person. Um, I also, I'm going to try lipsticks. I've decided that's my New Year's resolution starting in the summer. I'm going to try lipsticks. Obviously, I failed because I haven't got one on today. But I bought this lip pencil in um, Frolic. There we go. It's kind of like a. It's quite a nude one. And I also bought a um, lipstick as well from MAC, but that's obviously fallen out on the walk into the camera. So they're both matte. Now matte ones are quite hard to wear though. And I found myself going like this all the time. I felt like I had raisin lips. So, so far my experiment of trying lipsticks ain't going too well. Then I went to the Juicy Free whilst we were away. Cause when you were away, you feel like you need to treat yourself. I've come on holiday. I want to have memories to bring back with me. So I went to the, um, Juicy Free over there and went to the perfume counter. I always wear the same perfume, which is Philosophy. Um, Grace, I think there's like Morning Grace, there's a few of them because that's what I wore when I got married. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna mix it up. I ain't gonna mix up my husband, but I'm gonna mix up my perfume. So I went for Prada Candy, and there's loads in this range, and I went for Florel. Or Flor Floral. Floral if you're Brumet, but if you're posh, it's Florel. So I got I just got a little bottle. It was quite expensive actually. I don't think it says the price. Oh, does it say the price on the bottom? No, but it, it wasn't it wasn't cheap, but that's nice. It's quite a pretty bottle for my um dressing table. And then I saw they did palettes. I love a palette. I'm obsessed with palettes. Hashtag palette. I will link above in a card now my get ready with me and you will see my love of palettes. So I bought this one, which is Revolution. I don't know, I've never heard of it. You probably, you know what? I would, wouldn't be surprised if you can't get this in Superdrug down the high street where I live. But I saw it, it was eight euros. It's called Girl Panic. Um, Cause I'm a young girl. <clears throat> and it is just lots of nice, kind of very wearable colors. The shimmers on the top, there's mattes on the bottom. I can never quite work out how to wear matte eyeshadow. I never, I never quite know. If you can, if you've got any tips or you know any beauty vloggers that have done like good matte tutorials, could you link them below or leave me a little comment? Cause I, I can't do it. And I'm all about the pink at the moment. I love it. So that was at Euros. As I said, I could probably go and pick up my son from nursery and buy it on the high street. I also got myself for seven euros, some 
just silver earrings. It says silver, but let's be honest, I could put them on my ears and they could go green. Because I'm not in Lanzarote anymore, so I can't take them back, so I've got those. Then I saw these and reverted back to 12 year old that I, I often do in these hauls where I go and buy crap I really don't need for seven euros. So the same price as silver earrings. I bought emoticon stickers. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. I'll just put these back, shall I? And then I was walking around and I saw a shoe shop by the beach. It was like a beacon of hope, a beacon of joy. And I saw these. I love me some rose gold, I love me some copper. And I saw these little beauties. Now these are like proper shoes you buy on holiday and then you get back to Birmingham and you're like, um, I'm not entirely sure they will work well around my local streets. But they're just espadrilles. They are leather, it's leather at the top, or is it leather? I don't know, it could be plastic. I ain't never gonna be able to tell. But it was th they were 35 euros, but I got 10%, 10%, 15% off or something. I think they were about 30 euros, which is quite a lot, actually, with hindsight. Size five, they are from XTI Territory. Territory, the original. Um, just leather espadrilles. They're all right for the school run if it's a bit hot and I can't be bothered to paint my toenails. I don't know. I like them there, they're very comfy. When is I'll ever wear them here? Who knows? So that was my payday haul from the lovely island of Lanzagrotti. Hopefully in the next few weeks I will do a Primark haul and maybe a stationery haul. Leave kind of what hauls you like below. Do you like makeup ones? Do you like homey ones? Do you want garden one? I can do anything. Thumbs up, a high five if you would like to go and subscribe and I shall see you very soon. Enjoy your evening guys, bye. I forgot one thing, one amazing thing, and it was, I didn't buy this, and but I got sent it, and I really wanted to show you. Hang on two seconds. <gasps> it's me! A lovely viewer called Harriet got her other half, who's the urban giant, and I'll leave him below his Instagram, to make a brummy mummy of two little caricature. So it's got me with me jeggings on, me Breton stripes, I've got Primark bags, because you know I love me a Primark haul, and me blonde hair and me manic grin. So thanks very much, Harriet. Thanks very much, Urban Giant. Um, 